Hello, good afternoon, good afternoon. I'm not going to be long. In fact, I'm gonna be about uh, seven minutes today and I just need you to pay attention. It is a blessed day, a great opportunity. I pray and trust that everyone's power uh, has been restored, everyone has cooled off, and that everybody's back to as close to normal as possible. I know that this situation uh, has been a crisis moment, but aren't you glad that God has brought you through safely, taken care of, and provided for your family, even with the lack and the loss of electricity and power and downed trees? We just pray for everybody uh, and trust God that you're fine and that you are okay. We do have power has been restored here to the St. Luke Church, and we're looking forward to seeing you here on tomorrow morning. Let me just take a few times, a few minutes to talk about just a few things as we go forward. I'm going to share a bit of the Sunday School lesson. Listen, uh, today I, I have here chapter 14. Uh, as I sent out a message last week, uh, I've been reassigned to the St. Luke Church for the 14th time, and I look forward to a great opportunity a great work, a great move of God. And I trust that you are just as excited as I am because I see bigger, I see better, I see greater in our future. I just need you, just want you uh, uh, to catch the, the spirit of greatness and the spirit of excellence uh, as well. I, as I said, I'm excited. As I told you all last time, I said there were some things uh, that I had been promised to receive, but I thank God more than anything else that I did receive uh, the best gift, which is to be able to remain as the pastor of the St. Luke Church. And you have no idea how much of a blessing that is to me. Listen, our June birthdays, Damon Gladney, happy birthday there, Mr. Gladney, Maya Hudson, Jessica Lewis. Thank you, Jessica. You've come in and been a great worker. Faye Hall, God bless you. LaShonda Moore, my niece down there in Houston, who's been one of our most faithful uh, uh, social media uh, watchers and participants and uh, participants and virtual members. God bless you there, LaShonda. Happy birthday uh, to you as well. Happy birthday to all of our June uh, persons. Listen, I'm going to go over the scripture tomorrow is Isaiah 65. I'm going to teach this lesson. Now, going forward, I'm going to do a Sunday school lesson, and I'm going to do an announcement because uh, the international lesson, which is the lesson that we teach from on the district, is different than the lesson that we have in our Sunday school books. I need everybody to get a Sunday school book, and I want to make sure that I teach from that one uh, as well, so you'll have an opportunity to get that. I've just got to work out my time schedule. You all pray for my time management uh, and give me an opportunity to begin that. Uh, perhaps uh, at some point next month. So don't give up uh, on that one. When you see that this does not coincide with our Sunday school books, uh, I will uh, rectify that situation. This is from the book of Isaiah chapter 65. He says, for behold, I create new heavens and a new earth. This sounds like the book of Revelation. And the formal shall not be remembered and it will not come to mind. But be glad and rejoice forever in what I create. For behold, I create a Jerusalem as a rejoicing and her people a joy. I create the city and I create for the people a joy. I will rejoice in Jerusalem and joy in my people. The voice of weeping shall no longer be heard in her, nor the voice of crying. Look at the commonality. For there shall, no, there shall be no more crying there for the Son of God, for, for he will have wiped all tears from their eyes. No more shall an infant from there live but a few days. No more infant mortality, no more death, nor an old man who has not fulfilled his days. For the child shall die 100 years old, but the sinner being 100 years old shall be accursed. It doesn't say that everybody, that people won't live long, but he's saying that they will live in a cursed situation. They shall build houses and live in them. They shall plant vineyards and eat their fruit. They shall not build and another live in it. They shall not plant, and another eat it. For as the days of a tree, so shall be the days of my days of my people. Trees live hundreds of years, and they 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 with they withstand storms. They withstand all types of calamities and catastrophes. He says, "But my chosen shall long enough to long enjoy the work of their hands." 
They shall not labor. Their work won't be in vain, nor will they bring forth children for trouble. For they shall be the descendants of the blessed of the Lord. I'm going to talk about that. And their offspring with them. It shall come to pass that before they call, I will answer. And while they are still speaking, I will hear. Isn't that amazing? That while we're talking, God already hears. And the wolf and the lamb shall eat together. There's no predator and no prey. The lion shall eat straw like the ox. The appetite will be changed. And dust shall be the serpent's food, meaning even the serpent that may be living among us will not be looking to bite, but looking, amen, here to eat uh, that which it has been prepared. They shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountain, says the Lord. I want you to go back in and look at that last one and bring it and see what God does in this glorious new creation. That's what we're looking forward to. And we want to thank God for that. Listen, tomorrow, as I said, the Sunday school lesson, I will I will um, elaborate more at nine o'clock. You all know the time. I need you to participate and be there uh, as well. And then, of course, at 11 o'clock, uh, Facebook and YouTube, make sure that you uh, like and that you subscribe to the channel. And then, of course, certainly make sure that you're available for in-person worship. Uh, the World Health Organization and CDC has said that COVID is over uh, as a national emergency. It's not saying that people can't catch it, but at the same time, it, it is still it is so manageable even now that we need to be in the house of God. We've been out of the house of God for three and a quarter years. And some of us, I want to see you back in here worshiping with us on a Sunday morning. Listen, tomorrow, this is what I want to talk about. Philippians 4. I don't say this out of need for what I've learned to be content in whatever circumstance I am. My, my, my. Tomorrow morning, you don't want to miss this sermon. You want to be blessed by it. We're going to talk about always blessed. Always blessed. God keep you. God bless you. This is my prayer.